this Patty Constantine is awesome. Like, I'll give him that. Like, he's a great actor, but like, man, that character is like a shit. No, he was. I mean, the whole thing is in that. in the book, though. There is there is no fleshing out of the characters. The characters are open to. Like, is if, he if open you, to interpretation? He's a man that won't make any decisions. He doesn't want to have anything to do with open leadership. To do, his, he's a blank slate because it's written from the unreliable narrator context. I gotta there are, say. There's different, different narrators. We don't know what is the truth. We don't know what is a lie. Cat, cat, we, well, I mean, in the cat. show, the show is like supposed to be the definitive version, though, right? We I mean, just going to um, respectfully so, disagree That's, just, that. that's it's... what it is. And I thought his portrayal was phenomenal. And with a character like that, and with the way that Fire and Blood is written, you have the opportunity to do that to an extent. There's still time in yeah. this round, Lady B. You got this. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sick of that cope of like, it's an unreliable narrator. I'm like, but that's oh, what it is. It's not yes, a cope. It's, it's the an truth. unreliable uh, narrator. It's, like, there's it's the truth. It's in history. But it's, the, away. it's the truth. But I think everyone, everyone agreed that Viserys was somebody who didn't want to A, make any decisions. He didn't want to have conflict with anyone. He liked the balls. He liked the hunts. He liked the jousts. And he didn't really want to do any and kingly duties. Of and the small... Well, are we more. talking about show or book series? We're like, both. I'm just saying. There's plenty well, they're of very open different. room to expand things. It's and George like R. R. Martin, is... George R. Martin, who is the creator, said that it was done phenomenally. And he's who matters. Because he created it. It's his world. He likes what was done with Viserys. He doesn't have a problem with it. He's had a problem with playing. I don't Alexander. have a problem with Viserys. So. I was just saying that he is not a good person. That's like all I was. No saying. one is oh. a good person. In I know that, and I'm part. just like I'm saying. Come on, like, Lady B, you got this. You no, got no, this, I'm just, Lady B. So. My my argument with my um, fiance was that look it. You can like don't say he's a good person. You can say he's a good like. A, He's written like he is in the book. Like he was played by a phenomenal actor. But like, don't come at me saying he's a good person. That was well, the well, I'd say he's very different in the show than in the book. In the book, it's very much like one dimensional. Like we don't know much of anything about him. Yeah. Really, his like, well, motives extremely one dimensional. On the throne. Well, Whereas I'm confused. I'm show, confused. Kayla, when I mean, y'all say just, hold on, hold on, when y'all say good person, are you saying like morally or morally? Well, no, no, just no, no one is technically a good person. He's a good actor. The actor that played him was great, and what they did with the role, yeah. how they fleshed out the character, got no credit. is absolutely phenomenal. So is that just what y'all mean happens. when you say he's a good person? No, no I, I mean like the actor's good, the character is in the show. By serious, could be considered a good king i guess to an extent because there was mm -hmm. peace under his rule for the most Everything, part every decision, king, maybe decision not good, he made or possible. didn't made like led to the situation we get with the dance of dragons like he was an awful king well no i wouldn't it's not his fault it's like the people around him though it's the people around him definitely but, How is it not was somebody like, he should have just stepped just up like, and been king like instead of like letting the dance of the dragons people. the whole thing happened it's in the show, at least, it's just due to Allison. I mean, really, Otto's Otto just one bag though, that like, fucking did that. It's really Otto all Otto. Allison. Otto is the worst father mm -hmm. in the fucking world. He pimped out his daughter to go to basically raise his family. I, I don't and know. And this wouldn't have been a problem if a series would have been a king and would have been more interested in ruling the realm than hanging out and partying and stuff. So he just wanted well, to I feel like if to Otto, his if, if Otto let's you play so. like Otto with Tywin or someone. If Otto if there was someone different, like and Otto didn't exist, then the Dance of Dragons I don't think would have happened. Because Otto kind of grooms Allison and then is responsible for everything that happens and everything that neg negatively affects Viserys. And Viserys was always very straightforward about having Rhaenyra as his heir. So he mm -hmm. always projected that. Like, we could have an issue with him if he wasn't telling people or if he wasn't certain who he wanted as the heir, but he was always very he certain always and very, was clear very certain, about what he yes. wanted. Right. And it's the fault of the people around him for messing that up. Exactly. But he allowed that. To but happen. him as king could have he said, was like, dead when it happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he was, was dead. But dead. like earlier on, he could have just stepped in and said, like, hey, like, he I need to. <laughs> well, he, he said it very clear. He was like, I'm going to take the tongue clear. out of anyone who when said she's not heir. my heir. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Don and Gator, no, they were talking about how uh, when the dinner scene, when he was sitting there, he was chilling. Yeah, he was about to die. Uh, but he's not realizing that all of this tension is in the room and all the like, familiar issues that they're having. And I'm like, 
dude just want to do his own thing, fucking play with little miniature okay. figures and shit while everything's just burning down around him. That's why I think he's a terrible king. He was a good person, but that made him a terrible yeah, king. Yeah, exactly. The, I, 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 feel, I feel like he did he did everything he could. He wasn't just playing with his figures. Like we saw how Man, much, he was like, supposed how to hurt him. He was supposed to put his dick on the table and lay the law down and say, This is what's gonna happen. When he I did, he die, did it so many times. this is what's going to happen. He didn't say it with his chest. He said it so many times. He even pulled his knife out in that scene. He was like, I'm going to have the tongue out of anyone who says when is not my heir. But then Otto kept doing his little fingers, getting in everyone and messing it up and then grooming Allison to do the same. So then the second he dies, like they come in and, you know, it's their fault, not his. Could he have uh, written something down and signed it, put a little wax and say... Well, no, I feel like he told I... everyone. He told yeah, everyone they, multiple they went times. against his wishes, you know, pretty much. It was... He had made it clear, <laughs> very clear, I thought. And there's and here's another problem is like Rhaenyra in the book is a lot different than she is in the show. They try to make her like she's all involved and stuff, but she's not like she's sort of like the spoiled child. And if she was smart, she would have done more things to like ensure that she had more supporters. She wouldn't have been so like nonchalant about Viserys it. Viserys begged her to do that. And she just wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. She just had no interest in it. All right, since they Targaryens, just, like, couldn't he just marry the daughter to the the son? That was like one thing. Done. That, that was something that Allison in the book actually suggested, but like he said no. That would have been the smartest move, though. Rhaenyra and Aegon, like that would have solved everything. Mm -hmm. cool. Dumb king should have married his kids instead of marrying somebody else's child. <laughs> something to consider. I don't know. Wait, you like know. if a series well, married like, an age difference. There's an age difference, so that's a factor. Between the siblings? Yeah, Aegon's a lot younger than Rhaenyra. Well, I was just told like earlier that even though you'll marry at this age, we won't consummate it in it until later. So, the, well, no, like they, that's the always been a thing in Ra history. Rhaenyra, though. but Rhaenyra though, she's a lot older than Aegon, so it's like she's not too much older. She was like. 13 14 years like they've done they've done a lot of stuff like that like yeah, 13 14 years blood. and by the time that he can get it up and do it she's gonna be like past baby making prime then. no she'd be like 22 no 20 24 the ages i'm looking at both of them are both capable of producing i mean she'd be like 30 or something of where they are now we're never probably pop out another kid since so she can't control it. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't do feet. I can't these, do are these, this, ah! are these the feet? Not this, not this, not this. The feet that brought down an empire. 